My husband says he's at a work dinner, but when I call the restaurant, they say he's not there. He's lying, and I don't know what to believe anymore. My husband of six years works in a field where sales reps are constantly vying to get him to use their products. One of the ways they do this is by putting on dinners at upscale restaurants, think expensive steakhouses, and inviting groups to come listen to a presentation about the product in exchange for a free steak dinner. So far this year, my husband has attended upwards of 40 of these dinners. I find this a little excessive, especially considering we have a 3-year-old and a 5-month-old at home, and I rarely get a reciprocal night out, for context, we've been out together without the kids 4 times in the past year. I have asked him to cut back on these dinners, but he refuses, saying he hopes to leverage these relationships into brand-sponsored speaking opportunities that could become a temporary source of secondary income. To his credit, this has happened before and he made some good money before his stint as a speaker ended. Anytime I complain about the number of dinners he attends, he accuses me of not caring about our financial situation, or even outright trying to sabotage it. It is my understanding that he attends far more of these dinners than most people in his field. Okay, on to the dinner in question, last week he forwarded me a screenshot of a text from a sales rep who said she would be in town for two nights and wanted to have dinner with just him while she was there. This is fairly unusual, as most dinners are group affairs with friends and colleagues. On one other occasion he has met with a sales rep one-on-one, -on -one, but it was an older man. On this occasion, it was an attractive woman around our age, I looked her up on the socials. They agreed to meet on Monday at 6.30 at a nice tapas restaurant in an expensive part of town because, according to my husband, it was close to her hotel. Made sense, though I raised an eyebrow at his phrasing. He got annoyed, but I pointed out that it was a dumb thing to say to your wife when you're meeting a woman for dinner at a nice restaurant. He left the house at 6.04. For context, I am extremely sleep-deprived. I'm up with the new baby several times a night, and my husband has refused to participate in night feedings. So, by 9 o'clock I was tired and really wanted to sleep, but the baby was colicky and crying, and it was keeping my toddler awake. I texted my husband to find out when he thought he'd be home so I could have a sense how long it'd be before I could sleep. In the text I said it was NBD, just give me a ballpark idea of when you'll be home. He didn't respond. He wears an Apple Watch and is constantly responding to texts on his phone, so it was annoying to me that he couldn't give me an ETA after three hours at dinner. I called him at 9.15 and he sent me straight to voicemail. I called again at 9.30 with the same result. At this point I texted and told him I was calling the restaurant. When I did, the host told me there was no one in the restaurant, and he could confidently say that no one matching my husband's description had been into the restaurant at all that night. I texted that I was calling his parents to see if they had heard from him, they hadn't. Finally, at almost 10 o'clock, I texted and told him not to come home. Fifteen minutes after my last text, he sent me an automated text from his GPS app telling me he'd be home by 10.20 p.m. I texted again and told him to go to his parents' house. He showed up anyway and I wouldn't let him in. He didn't have keys. He said I was acting crazy. He said the tapas restaurant was more like a sports bar so they went to a nicer place across the street. He said his phone was in his pocket on silent, except he had to have declined the calls in order to send me straight to voicemail. He said he was trying to generate revenue for our family. He said my self-esteem was not his problem. He said my behavior had better be a symptom of PMDD. He said I was creating events in my mind. Long story short, I didn't let him in. He slept at his parents and came over to the house in the morning to get his stuff. He's there again tonight, after going to yet another dinner, and likely will be for the foreseeable future. I think his behavior was shady and disrespectful to me, but he thinks I've blown the whole thing out of proportion. I'm so tired that I can't make sense of it, and I need to ask Reddit if I'm justified in my anger, or if he's right and I'm blowing this out of proportion. What do you think? Thanks in advance. Update 1. Alright, so things are really messed up now. After that night where I told him not to come home, he stayed at his parents' place. Honestly, I thought the space would give me time to calm down and figure out what to do, but instead, it just made me more suspicious about everything. 
the way he acted, the way he dismissed my concerns, and the fact that he straight up lied about the restaurant, it all kept spinning in my head. I decided I couldn't just let it go. The next morning, I tried to focus on the kids and keep myself busy, but the baby was fussy and my toddler kept asking, where's daddy? It made me feel like crap because I had no idea what to even tell him. By mid-morning, I couldn't take it anymore and decided to check his location history on his phone. Don't judge me, at this point, I felt like I needed to know the truth. He had shared his location with me months ago when we were trying to coordinate daycare drop-offs, and he must have forgotten about it because it was still on. I pulled it up, and surprise, surprise, he hadn't been anywhere near the tapas place or the sports bar that night. His location pinged at some other random address in the same part of town. When I zoomed in, it was a residential area. No hotels, no restaurants, nothing that made sense for him to be there. I felt my stomach drop. I texted him and asked where he had been, but he didn't respond. A couple of hours later, I called his parents' house, and his mom picked up. I asked if he was there, and she said he had gone out to run errands. I decided to just lay it all out and told her I thought he was lying to me about where he had been the other night. She went quiet for a moment and then said, well, maybe you two just need some time to talk things through. That's when I knew she probably already had some idea of what was going on. That afternoon, I did something I never thought I'd do, I packed up the kids and drove to the address his phone had pinged at. I didn't even have a plan, I just needed to see for myself. When I got there, it was a small apartment complex. I sat in the car for a while, debating if I should even go up. Eventually, I decided to at least knock on the door of the apartment his phone had shown. When I got to the door, I was shaking. I knocked, and a woman answered. She looked surprised to see me but didn't seem defensive or anything. She was in her late twenties, maybe early thirties, and had this super casual vibe, like she wasn't expecting company. I asked if she knew my husband, and she looked confused for a second before saying, Yeah, he's a friend of mine. Why? I could feel my heart pounding, but I tried to stay calm. I asked if he had been there Monday night, and she nodded like it was no big deal. She said, Yeah, we were just catching up. He left around 10 or so. Catching up? Who even was this woman? I asked how they knew each other, and she said they met through work. When I pressed her on what they talked about, she got a little defensive and said, Look, I don't know what you're trying to find out, but you should really ask him. Then she closed the door. When I got back in the car, I felt sick. I called him right away, and he actually answered this time. I told him I had gone to the address, and he immediately blew up at me, saying I was a crossing a line and acting crazy. I told him I wasn't the one lying about where I was and spending time at some random woman's apartment. He kept deflecting, saying I had no right to invade his privacy and that I was making something out of nothing. I asked him point blank if he was cheating, and he laughed, like actually laughed, and said, you seriously think I'd have time for that? He claimed the woman was a sales rep he had known for years and that he stopped by her place after dinner because she needed advice about her career. I asked why he lied about being at the restaurant, and he said he didn't want me to overreact because he knew how I'd get if I heard he was meeting a woman alone. At this point, I didn't even care about his excuses. I told him I was done with the lies and that he could stay at his parents' place until he was ready to actually tell me the truth. He tried to spin it like I was the one ruining our marriage by being paranoid and a controlling. After that call, I started going through more of our shared accounts, looking for anything else that didn't add up. I found another charge for a hotel near that same area from two weeks ago. When I brought it up to him later over text, he said it was just for a work meeting and that I was being ridiculous for even asking. I don't know what to believe anymore. Every time I think I've caught him in something, he finds a way to twist it back on me and make me feel like I'm the one losing it. Part of me wants to just let it go for the sake of the kids, but another part of me feels like I'd be letting him get away with something if I don't keep digging. At this point, I'm exhausted, confused, and honestly don't know what to do. All I know is that I can't keep living like this, constantly questioning everything he says and does. Update 2 Alright, so after everything I found out in Update 1, I couldn't just sit back and ignore it. 
I was so done with the lies, the excuses, and the weird behavior. I mean, how many times can a person pretend nothing's going on before they start cracking under the pressure, right? So, I decided to dig even deeper. I've been really good at looking at his phone, his emails, and anything else I can get my hands on, but I needed to know more about this work meeting he was so insistent about. I also knew he wasn't going to make this easy, but I had to do something. The first thing I did was try to talk to his colleagues. I know, it sounds insane, but at this point, I couldn't trust a word he said. If he was out here lying to me about where he was, who knows what else he was lying about. I sent a few casual texts to some of the people I knew he worked with, just asking about the events he'd attended recently. I didn't come out and say, hey, do you know if my husband's cheating, because that would be way too obvious? Instead, I played it cool. One guy, let's call him Tom, actually responded right away. He said, oh, yeah, your husband's been attending a bunch of events recently, but I haven't seen him much since that one dinner with the marketing team last week. I wasn't even sure what dinner he was talking about, but I asked Tom to confirm the date. Tom replied with something I didn't expect, that was the night he got a special dinner with that sales rep, wasn't it? I didn't realize he'd already had dinner with her before. I thought it was a new thing. Wait, what? New thing? So this wasn't just some random dinner that happened once, this was something that was happening regularly, and he didn't mention it? I thanked Tom and promised I wouldn't bother him again, but I had a bad feeling in my gut. I was still processing that information when I decided to take a more direct route and reach out to the woman he'd been meeting. I wasn't sure what I was going to say, but I needed answers. I couldn't keep dealing with this confusion and vague stories. She was still active on social media, so I shot her a message. I kept it simple, just asking, Hey, I know this is random, but do you mind clarifying something? I'm, husband's name S. wife, and I'm a little confused about his recent dinners with you. Her response was almost immediate, and honestly, it wasn't what I expected. She apologized for not being more upfront with me, but she confirmed that they'd been meeting regularly. She said it was all for business purposes, and that nothing romantic had ever happened, but she also added, I don't know why he didn't mention me to you. That's between you two, but I don't want any issues. Okay, so she's telling me it's all business, but then why does he keep lying to me about these dinners? Why did he have to hide the fact they'd been meeting all this time? I thanked her for the honesty and decided it was time to confront him once and for all. When he came over that night, I was calm, too calm, probably. I told him that I had reached out to his colleagues and the sales rep, and I had found out that his business dinners were happening a lot more frequently than he'd let on. I told him that I was sick of being lied to, and that I needed him to stop treating me like I was crazy for wanting transparency in our marriage. He got defensive right away. He said that I was interrogating him and that I needed to trust him more. He said he'd been helping this woman with her career and that it wasn't my business to know every little detail of his work life. I told him I wasn't just asking about his work life, I was asking why he was so secretive about it. Why didn't he tell me about her? Why was he hiding everything? I kept pushing, and finally, he broke down a little. He admitted that they had been spending more time together, but he still swore it was all for business. He said he'd never considered anything romantic with her, but I wasn't sure if I believed him anymore. He started crying and saying that I didn't appreciate all the work he was doing to make money for the family. He kept telling me I was being unreasonable and that I was ruining everything by not trusting him. I asked him if he thought he could really fix everything by just continuing to lie and avoid the truth. He said he didn't know. He told me to let it go, and that he was doing everything for us. I told him I needed space, and he needed to figure out what he wanted. Now, I'm not sure where we stand. I've been living in this limbo, wondering if I'm just being paranoid or if I'm actually seeing the signs of something more. The more I think about it, the more I wonder if he's been hiding things for a lot longer than I realized. The worst part is that every time I try to confront him, he just shuts down, makes me feel crazy, and accuses me of overreacting. I don't know what to do next. Should I keep pushing for answers, or am I just digging myself into a hole? I'm at the point where I feel like I'm suffocating in this relationship, and I can't decide if it's worth saving anymore.